In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a database connection to your Java project. And so we'll install MySQL and connect it with the proper driver to our Red Hat project. So first of all, I'm going to switch into the database perspective. I have a small icon on my taskbar here, and I click that, and I'll bring up the database options here. If you don't see this little blue icon for databases, you can go to Window and choose Perspective and Open Perspective. Let's choose Other and then select Database Development. You can see that I already have several database connections defined here. I'll create a new one alongside of you. So let's go to New and let's go and choose MySQL for our type. Let's give it a name here. And so this is going to be called Database Testing. And I might as well put MySQL in there. The name that you choose is up to you. Let's click Next. So you probably don't have MySQL JDBC driver listed here. You can click here and add it. However, we first need to download the correct files. Let's go into Google and search for Java MySQL driver. Look for the website that has MySQL.com and you find a download connector for J. So I'm looking down here and I see platform independent compressed tar or I prefer zip archives. So let's click here download and then we will begin. So let's see. No, thank you. I don't want to log in. Just download. So the download begins and it's about 4.6 megabytes. Let's go look into our downloads folder. I'm going to open up the uh, zip file and Macintosh automatically extracts the folder. In Windows you'll have to right click and choose extract to get this. So once I have the folder extracted I open the folder and I'm looking for this file right here called MySQL Connector Java and I'm using version 5.1.46. Let's switch back into our JBoss development environment. Now, if you have this installed, you will see this is a listed option already. If you don't have it installed, you have to click here where the plus sign is. And then let's select version 5.1. The next is we want to uh, locate the jar list that we need to uh, use here. I have one installed here. I can remove it and then click Add. I find this thing in the Downloads folder, the folder I just downloaded, and then the connector.jar file. So mine says a driver already exists with this, so I can't install it again, but you should have an OK button. OK, so that provides a driver so that the application we're about to develop will talk to the database. So in just a minute, we're going to create a database. Let's uh, first of all predict what our database name is. In this project, I'm going to create things that you might find beautiful. So I'm going to create a database called Beautiful Things, and we're going to list all the things that we find beautiful in life. So there is a string of text that we're going to copy and use later. I also know that in my database setup that I'm going to be using in a minute, there is a default password called root and the username is root. So I'll set those up. Now, before we click OK or finish, let's go and set up our database. So I'm going to switch to the bottom of my screen. You'll see I have an application called MAMP. MAMP is a web server that is for Macintosh, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And so normally I use MAMP when I'm writing PHP code. However, it has a SQL Server built into it, so if you download and install MAMP, you'll have the exact same features that I do. So I'm going to choose Start the Web Page. And so you can see that I have the uh, default setup running. I'm going into the tool called PHP My Admin. Now you can see that I've created lots of databases already. And I just mentioned a minute ago that we're going to create a new database called Beautiful Things. So let's go to the New button and type in the database name. 
and let's click the Create button. Now inside of here we're going to have a table and I'm going to call this um, Things Table. And let's see, the number of columns. I'm going to use the default four columns here and choose Go. Now, what are my columns in the table going to be? Well, almost always you start off with an ID number. So I'll use ID with integer. And in this database, I want them to be auto-incremented. So I slide over to A underscore I. And it says this wants to create this as a primary table key. That's good. Let's click OK or Go. All right. Now, what's my... Uh, What's my beautiful thing table going to look like? Well, let's give each beautiful thing a title. So I'm going to call this thing title. And this looks like a var char. And I'm going to call this thing description. And a description might be longer, so I'm going to use the word text here. And let's see, then I'm going to say thing value. And that will give me a score, let's say 1 to 5 or 1 to 10, on how valuable I think this thing is. Okay, the next column is the values that I want here. So let's say the title can be up to 50 characters. Let's give this thing up to 500 characters. And this doesn't need any value. So let's click on Preview SQL. This gives you the Create Table option. Let's click Close and Save. And now we have a table. We can insert data into here. So if we choose the Insert command, we can make up something that we find beautiful. Let's say Flowers. So flowers in the springtime always make me feel happy, and I'm going to give this a value of 9. And let's go. So let's go look in our table, let's browse, and we have our first thing that makes me happy, flowers. Let's add a few more items. So I create another thing called chocolate, and I have two items in my database now. Notice the ID is automatically created and the other fields are filled in according to my wishes. All right, it appears that our database is running now. So let's go back into JBoss in our Dev Studio. And I'm going to double check that I've typed these things correctly. So Beautiful Things was the name of the database. And sure enough, Beautiful Things is here. What else is in there? I've got this string here that includes Beautiful Things. 3306 is the port number for my database. Let's double check that. Let's go back into my MAMP tools and click on Preferences and Ports. And you can see that my SQL port is running on 3306. Yours might be different. If it is, you need to change your JBoss settings to match it. So 3306 is what I'm using. And then the name of the database. The default password is root. And the username is also root. Let's try a test connection. I have ping succeeded. So it is connected to the database. Congratulations if you get this far. If not, you got to go back and check some of these things again. Let's click OK. Now I click the finish button and you can see that I have test database MySQL running here. And beautiful things is listed Schemas shows beautiful things as the table. Let's open this a uh, little further. Let's go to tables and there is the things table. I'm going to do a right click and choose the uh, command for... Come on. I'm going to see if this is working. I right click, I choose data and sample contents and I should see flowers and chocolate showing up over here. So it looks like it's communicating properly. So I can close this now, I can disconnect. So congratulations, we're done configuring our database in this screen. Our test connection seems to be working. So I'm going to right click and choose disconnect and then go back into my regular JBoss environment. So change perspective back to coding. Okay, so that wraps it up for this video. In the next video, we're going to actually write some code to 
pull information from the database. 